but we're doing a full body workout using only one dumbbell. And this one is perfect to do at home if you want to work on your strength. So when you're ready, grab your dumbbell, make some space, and let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with a quick warm up. And the first exercise that we're gonna do are some shoulder rolls. So simply straighten out your arms, bring your shoulders up towards your ears, and roll backwards. Just like that. And once you've done a few of those backwards, just roll forwards. Getting those shoulders nice and warm. Very good. From here, we're gonna go into a upper body opener. Just stretch out your arms, open up that chest, lean backwards and feel the stretch in your upper body and then close and do that again. Good. Do a few of those. One more. Nice. And from here, we're simply gonna step up with the knee into some hip openers. Very good. Okay, let's continue warming up the hip and lower back. From here, you're gonna start with your torso and circle around. And once you've done a few circles to one side, you can do the other one. And then we're gonna switch it up. And instead of moving your upper body, you're gonna move the lower body around in a circle. Right, then a few to one side, and then a few to the other side. Very good. From here, step out wide, and let's relax the lower back into a forward fold. Feel the stretch in your hamstrings and in your lower back. You can go side to side if you want, or just stay straight. Okay, very good. And that's the warm up. That's how easy it is. So, Let's grab the dumbbell. For today's workout, I'll be using a five kilo one. Nothing too heavy, but you pick what fits you. We're gonna start with a side lunge. So, a step to the right, come up, and then the knee up. Knee up, and I placed the dumbbell on the wrong side, so we're gonna go like this. Knee up, it's gonna be better for the balance. Boom. Bam. Doesn't really matter which arm you put it. Just choose one and hold it there. And if you prefer to keep the dumbbell down here, that also works like this. Doing a curl at the same time. Okay, very good. Let's do the other side. So, dumbbell comes up, go to the side of the mat, and then we're gonna step out in three, two, one, let's go. You can use your other arm for balance. And really press up with that leg with some explosiveness. Switch up there. Dumbbell a bit. Bam. If you want to make it a little bit harder, you do this version. Good. Bam. 
There we go. So let's go down into the mat. And for this workout, there's not going to be any repeats. We're going to go straight through all the exercises. So come up, hold, press the dumbbell overhead, and then back. Squeeze up, back, and squeeze up. Just like that. Hold the glute bridge strong. And lower the dumbbell back slowly. One more. Boom. Very good. Okay. Let's get back up on our feet. We're gonna do a squat with an overhead press. So, step wide or shoulder width apart, dumbbell between the hands, squat down and then press up. Squat down and press up. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do a standing knee to elbow with a shoulder press. So come up with the dumbbell, bring it up overhead. You're gonna bring it together here and then back up. Knee to elbow and then press the dumbbell up. Do this slowly, find your balance. And notice the other hand, I'm putting it out to help out with the balance. One more. Nice. Let's switch it up straight away to the other one. No rest. Bam. Bam. Squeeze those abs as you bring the knee up. One more. Nice. Okay. Let's get down on the mat. We're going to do a tabletop roll into a tricep extension. So from here, you're going to roll the dumbbell back and then squeeze out. Roll back and squeeze out. When you roll the dumbbell up, put your elbow in a 90 degree angle and then do the extension of the tricep. Just like that. Few more. Okay, very nice. Let's turn it around. I'm just gonna turn around so I can show you guys. You don't actually need to turn, just switch the arms. So let's go with the left one. Roll it up, 90 degrees, squeeze out. Roll it up, 90 degrees and squeeze out. When you squeeze, you can hold for like half a second at the top, just to really make that squeeze. Feel it in your tricep.
Very nice. Okay, we're gonna stay on the tabletop and we're gonna do a reverse fly. I'm gonna face the camera just so you guys can see. We're gonna start with the right arm. We're gonna go out and backwards, right? Out and backwards. Make sure to bring the dumbbell up with the pinky first, right? Up and backwards. Control the dumbbell on the way down. And feel it in your shoulder and the back of the shoulder. That's what we're targeting here. Come on, a few more. Very good. Nicely done. We're going to do the other side. Catch your breath. And we're going to go in three, two, one. Bring it up and back, up and back. And control it on the way down. Squeeze on the way up. And don't go too fast to burn yourself out. Two more. Very good. Okay. Let's get up from the mat. Stand up. We're going to go into a squat with a knee up twist. So hold the dumbbell between your hands. We're going to squat down, come up, twist. Squat down, come up, and twist. And if you want to make this a little bit faster, just go like that, high intensity. But if you just want to go squat, come up, then twist. That's fine as well. Perfect. Okay. Whew. Those shoulders on fire. We're gonna do a front lunge with a front press. So lunge forward, hold the lunge, press, come back in and come up. Then switch the legs. Hold the lunge, press out, come back in, press up. Just like that. When you step out with the lunge, step out wide, find the balance and then press out the dumbbell, strong shoulders, strong core, strong body. Very good. Remember to breathe. Boy, very good. We're already getting towards the end of the workout. Keep up the intensity. We're gonna go into a lunge like this and then press up the dumbbell. Down, press up the dumbbell, okay? Let's go. We're gonna do 30 seconds on this arm and then we'll switch, no breaks, straight into the other arm. Okay, switch the dumbbell and let's go. Other arm, bam. Very good, you're doing great. 
Keep it going. Boom. Very good. Okay, 30 seconds break. We're getting into an abs finisher. Okay, so put the dumbbell on the mat, get into a plank, and we're gonna do some high plank alterations. So from here, you're simply gonna grab the dumbbell, bring it to one side, and then grab it to the other side, just like that, okay? In two, one, let's go. Keep a strong core. Try not to move your hips too much. Strong and steady. Nicely done. Okay, from here, we're gonna lead back and we're gonna do a straight leg crunch with the dumbbell overhead. So keep the legs straight, dumbbell above the head, crunch up and then down. You don't need to go all that high. Control your weight on the way down. Okay, from here, we're gonna get into some leg races. So, keep the dumbbell overhead, and then leg races. Try to lift your shoulders off the mat if you can. Keep that lower back pressed down onto the mat. Okay. From here, we're gonna do some side crunches. Dumbbell comes up and then simply go to the side, put it up on the side, feel it on the side of your core in the obliques. and the lower abs. Keep it going, almost done. All right, you know what? That's the workouts. Nicely done. We're gonna get into a quick cool down. So if you wanna join me for that, stay on the video. We're gonna start with a tricep stretch. So bring your arm over your head, grab your elbow, 